yeah, if there's one advice to give to men, it, it would definitely be for them to really stay present in the moment. Yeah. And, um, but I know guys, uh, again, this is a thing that I think all guys like, is some kind of technical action they can take if they, if they find themselves at the moment and think, I'm, I'm shitting myself, I am thinking of the future, I don't want to mess it up, I really like it, I want her to like me, da 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 da, -da. what if yeah. she, you know, what if, I, what if I do come too soon, oh my god. So, you know, it's, it's, on one hand, it's cool saying be in the moment, but I know, I know that um, that's, for example, a guy on the street, that's the best advice you can give them and also the worst advice because it's the best advice because it makes it this exactly what you have to do and, and the more in the moment you are the better you'll do in the interaction but I, if you tell a newbie that it doesn't compute it's like well I'm, I'm still shooting myself I'm still forward right. planning strategizing so one of the things I tell guys um, like a strategy that I use on the street for example is um, you know you said like um, bring your awareness to your body and I tell guys that, um, I think that's a, a similar technique written in a book called The Power of Now, um, where if you, if you bring your attention to physical sensation, and I'm going to rub my hands together now, and on the street I would do things, and you'd see me, if I say oh, I'm going to do a demo with you, you'd see me kind of <sighs> take these big breaths and start moving my body and start kind of like clapping my hands together. And, and what I'm doing, um, and I, I, when I developed this, it was just, I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing, but what I, what I, in hindsight, what I was doing is I was bringing my attention into the moment, and there's nothing more in the moment than physical sensation. So I would do that, and it, it would literally take my attention away from my thoughts, away from my head, away from the chatter, mm -hmm. into right now. And that's when I used to do that with my students. It, I found that it put them in a, in a much more centered place. And that was a little technique. Is anything because these guys probably can't do that if we're about to get in a bed with a girl, start going. <sighs> You know, but here, here's the stuff. thing, and, and you're exactly right, the, the body's always in the present. Mm. Your mind can be in tomorrow, it could be in yesterday, you could be thinking about what you have to do later or what mm. you've already done, but your body's always now. So anytime that you bring awareness to your body, like you said, even just physical sensation is very practical, mm. then you automatically bring yourself in the now. So one aspect of it, it would be kind of like what you do before you do the day game stuff where you're actually doing kind of like exercises to get to get in the body. But the mm. other thing is they can actually be doing the exact same process at the exact same time that they're engaging with a woman. Mm. Meaning, here he is with a woman, he's starting to touch her, he's starting to kiss her, and then his mind wanders off, he starts getting nervous, whatever goes on. Mm. In that moment, bring the awareness into the bodily sensations. Meaning if he's touching the woman, and he starts to think about something, bring the awareness right into your hand. Mm. Have that be the anchor to your body. Mm. And enjoy it because the skin is beautiful, the woman's beautiful. So it's, it's almost like any time that you bring pleasure to another person through different manners, but even through physical touch, it's actually not just for the other person your hand will actually experience pleasure through the contact also. So not only does the, does the woman miss out from having the man be present with her, but the man misses out on the experience of actually really enjoying himself and the woman in the moment as well. Mm. I recall um, the last uh, date that I had, and it's something that I do uh, uh, now. If I want to kind of move things towards, uh, towards sex, mm -hmm. and I, I understand, and, and guys feel this as well, that, that until that there is that first touch, like mm -hmm. maybe like a sexual touch, or you know, before then, you know, mm -hmm. a guy is sitting there, they've had a drink maybe, they're having a conversation, and in their mind that that, that gap hasn't been uh, spanned yet. And the way that I've always, um, mm -hmm. whenever I've kind of managed to, 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 to you know, smoothly get past that gap very effortlessly, it's always, the thing that always spans it is usually me, like you said, being in the moment, but also being very, 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 very authentic with how I'm actually um, feeling right then. So rather than think like strategizing, oh, how can I get her into bed, whatever. I'm just literally. I look at her. I find her really, really fucking sexy or attractive, whatever. And I just, I just tell her. I say, right now, this is what I'm. This is what I think of you right now. I love these curves. I might do a little touch. So I love these curves here. Mm -hmm. And I'm not thinking that oh, if I do this, this will lead to sex. If we get turned on, I'm not thinking that. I'm just literally, it's like the, the mood has got to this point where I'm having these thoughts and I'm just express that and mm -hmm. that usually does lead to the next thing just by expressing like what I'm really feeling, you know? Right. 
And what I would also recommend for guys, especially, like you said, kind of breaking that barrier. It's like, mm. once you get past that first physical contact or past that first kiss, mm. it, everything seems much more relaxed. Mm. But it's almost like you're sitting next to the person, it just feels like there's this imaginary wall, and you're like, how do I just get oh, past yeah. this imaginary yeah. wall? Yeah. And what I would highly recommend is for the guys to slow down. Because what, what I find from a lot of men is that they get so nervous that they try to overcompensate for it. So when they go ahead, say for the kiss, they're going so fast that the woman actually kind of throws her off balance. Mm. Because she's not even really expecting it. Mm. So kind of like what you're saying, slowing down and really connecting with her so that when you even move in for the kiss, it's so slow that she's even pulling pulling in toward you. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like there's this connection so that the energy builds for the contact. It's not this like, okay, I'm going to just go for it and then you pow. just, yeah, yeah, pow. And yeah. that's what a lot of guys do, it's you know? A ninja kiss, like a pow. <laughs> ninja kiss. A ninja kiss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've kissed you five times already, Sasha, today. You've got no idea. <laughs> wow, you, yeah. you move fast because hey. I didn't even notice. Hey, you're pregnant now, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, careful now. All right. Careful now. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> um, all right, so. And the, and the advice that I was going to give that I feel like, even though we're talking to, I say, more or less your listeners that are still working out how to really get together on dates with women, the advice that I need to give to all men, and it really doesn't even matter if they've had sex with a thousand women or with zero. Mm is that they really need to slow down in sex. The woman's body is very sensitive and her awareness needs to be able to follow all of the feelings and sensations that go on in sex. Mm. So if the man moves really fast and if his whole model of sex has come from porn Which it has. Which it has, yeah. exactly, for many men then the movement at that pace is actually too fast for the woman's awareness to be able to follow so that she could follow the energetics of it. Mm. Meaning then, if it's that fast, the only thing that you're relying on in the sex is the friction. Mm. And friction is a lot of work with very little results. Mm. Especially for the woman. This yeah. is why many women, you know, they say they're frigid and they don't have orgasms, but yeah. It's for a lot of women. It's because they've never really been been made love to in the proper way. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, the reason guys guys think this is because um, none of us have been women before, and we can like you know before getting into this kind of stuff, you, people just naturally assume. I think that, like naturally that everyone is kind of like they are. You know, like they just assume yeah. that's why a lot of guys get into this and they have a lot of hang-ups about their looks because they know that they really appreciate how a girl looks aesthetically. And they think well, girls must like they must be like us but they're not that's yeah. just one example so and men you know they can they can, you know we can we can totally have total fun with just friction and enjoy ourselves you know yeah and, and, and uh, the other thing also is that it, it's quite a shame because a lot of women actually don't even really know how their bodies totally work mm. so if you ask a woman how she wants to be made love to <clears throat> she really really doesn't quite have a deep understanding of her own body to even be able to communicate to you to slow down possibly mm. or it's almost like the advice that the women give to a lot of men and I get this information from the guys that I work mm. with is that they'll have a woman that says no harder faster because mm. they that just happens, no, that happens to me all you know mm. Can't do that sometimes. Yeah. Right, because they want to have more feeling and they don't actually understand that they need to do the opposite in, in order to have more feeling. Mm. So it's really a lack of understanding and um, from both sides, from both of the sexes. Yeah. Is this moving towards, you know, and this is, um, I, I'm, I'm kind of like with my listeners here and I don't know um, too much about what I'm about to suggest, but is this more towards what they call tantric sex? Have you heard of that? Is that more towards that or is this something completely different? She's smiling now, guys. <laughs> um, as if I've just, I've just insulted her completely. No, well, the reason why I'm smiling is because if you were to Google tantric sex, mm. or if you were to look up tantra on the internet these days, mm. what you see is something that I probably actually would have never really been drawn to. Right. Um, starting out, you know. What, so. What, what do you mean? Why? Meaning the. Okay, let me tell you what I see. If I, I'm, I'm yeah, tell me, in, what, what okay. is Tantra for you? What have you what if, okay, if I type in Tantra in, in YouTube, for example, and present yeah. it with like old people, 
sit, <laughs> sitting together, like like some old old hippies sitting together, going, you just gotta breathe the energy into you. And just like, you know, I'm thinking like, I, what the fuck is this shit? You That's know? exactly what I would be thinking too. Yeah, like it, it's, it doesn't seem very cool. It doesn't seem like something that, that I can relate to because I'm not, exactly. you know, like. It doesn't seem like a young thing, if that makes sense. It seems like something you do when you're 60. You know? Exactly. And even if you see young people doing it, it's like a lot of this like breathing and eye gazing stuff. Yeah. But it's but it it takes it's an unnatural way of doing it. Meaning everything that I speak about mm. is the natural way of connecting to somebody. Meaning when you're engaging with somebody and say you're making love to them, yeah, you're gonna be breathing a particular kind of way and it's gonna be open so that your body can feel more. And that's beautiful. And yeah, you may connect with your eyes and really gaze into the other person, but all this stuff is a natural way of connecting. So I, I always kind of steer away from saying that this is tantric sex and all this stuff. In reality, let's say it is. Mm. But a lot of stuff that's being taught about tantra and tantric sex is... Mm, I don't always resonate with. So let's just. Um, so let's just call what I'm speaking about the natural, beautiful way to make love to a woman with your love. Tantric's shorter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know. Well, let's say that I think they. Let's call that love making then. That's the short way. Let's just call that real love making. Okay. Okay.